Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. Let me get back in here where you can see me good. I'm uh, getting a windbreak from my truck because, of course, you guys know I uh, lost my microphone. It's a sad story. I'll be getting another one just as soon as I'm sure I still have an address for them to mail me something. I'm having a cup of coffee this morning. It is Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. I got the heavy cream in there. And I've already had about four cups. Let me tell you something. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. It is so good. We've been enjoying it all morning. I've made pot after pot. I think we're on our third pot anyway. Fred's up. Raphael made breakfast. The uh, scrambled eggs and bacon again this morning. Fluffy, delicious, fantastic. They are elated. Breaking news. Elated. Now, I'm sure that's not for, the, uh, you know, for everybody in Florida, but apparently where they live, one of their neighbors weathered it out, went down, took their iPhone, made a video, walked all around, showed their place, the front door, their lanai, everything. They got their plants outside unscathed. I mean, they are, oh my gosh, <laughs> none too soon. I don't know how much more I could have dealt with Raffaella. Oh my gosh. So they are elated. They're in there sharing all the good news with other neighbors, passing on the word and calling their relatives and stuff like that. While well, I enjoy the best cup of coffee I ever drink in my life. Oh, I love coffee. That is so good. Yeah, I'm still wearing the same shirt. The uh, hot water is about ready. And uh, on my next video, you won't see me in this shirt. I had breakfast waiting for me, so I've been busy. But another reason I wanted to uh, video uh, you guys this morning and share with you something that's very good. Some of you may uh, follow all my videos. Some of you may not know what I'm talking about. But here at this uh, RV resort where I'm at, there's a very nice lady. Her name is Tori. And she runs it. She's a young lady. She lost everything in the uh, hurricane a couple of weeks ago, um, Hurricane Helene. She has to drive like 30 miles to work. She had a small camper on a small piece of property that she uh, procured from someone for a really good deal with nothing down in so much a month. And then she lost it all. And meanwhile, she has absolutely been amazing to us and helping us with everything and the reservations and even offering me a spot here that has no electric on it at a discounted price because we didn't want to have to go sit in Walmart for two days until we could return uh, back to this beautiful place. And that made Miss uh, Rafaela uh, feel so much better. I'm having to hold my phone. I don't have a selfie stick. I don't have a microphone. This is my business. I got to get things fixed up. And I will very, very soon, I promise you. And when I get that microphone, I won't make a video without it. I know a lot of you get on to me about that. Anyway, Miss Tori, who lost everything, uh, shared uh, something with me that she had to go fund me. And so I said, give me your link. I'll, I'll contribute to you. I mean, why not? And so I did. And then I talked about it and I left the link in the pinned comment uh, on the video where there's something written about GoFundMe in the last few videos. And uh, so if you'd like to um, donate or contribute uh, to Miss Tori's plight in life, she's almost, she said, about $1,000 away from making a down payment on a camper so she can at least move back on her land. And right now she's with her mother. But all of that is not really to you know, bag or anything for Miss Tori. She's doing fine. She gets blessed so, so much because of what she does for everybody else. Just like, you know, I do. Boy, there's some loud talkers around here. <laughs> I'm one of them. But I'm telling you about Miss Tori because of her mother. Her mother saw the videos and really appreciates um, the donations and what people are doing to help her daughter out. And so Miss Tori came by yesterday you know I love these eggs and bacon and all. Apparently, uh, these are uh, you know some country folks with some uh, with some chickens, and so she came by and she says, "My mom wanted me to ask you if you would like some fresh eggs." I said, "Why not? I love eggs, and I've had fresh eggs before. I mean, I grew up on a, a farm when I was a kid when I wasn't in school with my grandmother in Alabama, and I know all about that stuff. We used to can every year. I mean, believe me." I uh, have an eclectic life. Um, so she came by this morning, as promised, bright and early. 
right here. I got to show you. She, she gave me some information that I did not know about eggs. And she told me, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. These eggs right here are with, laid within three days. And they're different colors. This one's, I don't know if the camera will show it, is actually a little blue. And this one, of course, is brown. And there's a couple of uh, white ones here. And she said uh, that these eggs have a protective coating on them. And if you wash them, you must put them in the refrigerator and they'll be good for about a month. But if you don't wash them, you can leave them on your counter for two months. So uh, I'm going to leave them out until we get back, until I know about my electricity and all that. And, and, and refrigerate them. But I guess I could go ahead and wash them because if they're good for a month, but they must stay refrigerated, she said. So anyway, what about that, huh? Fresh eggs and, oh, there she goes. And so a couple more days here, we're moving this morning from this space with no electric and using the generator to a couple of spaces down where there is power. And, um, you know, I can put the generator generator back in the truck and we're all done. And listen to this other blessing that we got that we may not need. Okay. Saturday, our rent's up. And down here where the electric is, a couple more days, right? Last night, uh, Mr. Fred is helping me uh, dump my gray tanks into the... Um, sewer pump sewer pipe here that we have and i don't have my fitting that holds the sewer hose on that everybody else has around here so i have to do it manually every couple of days and it's not a big deal the sewer i haven't had to really even do anything yet i did it but it wasn't really necessary that's because we're using the facilities a lot here uh for the restrooms but the sh the uh, shower which i use a lot and the sink, I have two gray tanks in the front of the camper. Uh, my camper has two gray tanks. Um, she's in there, you know, like I said, cooking all the time and washing these dishes. She keeps everything immaculate. She's got towels now hung over the handle of the uh, oven and doing things that I never do. And she's made it a woman's kitchen. She's made it her kitchen. And so she washes everything up. And she doesn't know anything about gray tanks and holding tanks and all that. So... The sink was full last night, or not full, was not draining. I said, what's the matter? What, did we clog it or something? I wasn't thinking. And I realized the tank is full, all the way up to the pipe, and now it's, the sink is not even going down. So Fred and I went out, and he helped me and held the, the hose on the tank. It's just sink water, dish water. And we, we dumped it while he held it, and I pulled the valve and pulled the hose over. So a gentleman comes over, and he sees that my generator's running, He's a couple of sites down this way. This is just what I'm saying about God bringing people together and being neighbors, and especially in the RV world. I think I'm gonna hold the phone right there. Um, and uh, a really nice guy, his name is Timmy, Mr. Timmy. And he comes over and he says, hey, you having a problem with the electric? Because he hears my generator running. I said, yeah, apparently uh, Hurricane Helene knocked out the electric on several sites in here but people are still wanting to rent them because they have nowhere to go and they're running their generators. So that's what I'm doing is, Oh, he said, well, um, you know, I just thought I could help you because I guess he knows a lot about electricity and just a lot more than I do about that stuff. So it was very nice of him to offer. And then when we told him where we're from, from Sarasota and you know, we're paid through Saturday and we might need to stay. We don't know what the damages might be. The, the darn thing went right over us, you know, from CS to key, which is, the same thing when we're all there within a couple of few miles Hope that wind doesn't come on the microphone he said listen I've had enough I don't know what he meant by that but he said I've had enough I'm out of here Saturday which is the last day of our rent where we're going um, what's today Thursday we're paid tonight and Friday and then Saturday we would have to bail or pay again and guess what? He said, I'm paid till the 18th. That's like 12 and six more days. That's uh, uh, five, six times, it's like $300 with the rent. 
he said, electric's on, it's all in there. I mean, just move over there. And of course, um, we, we jumped on that opportunity and said, thank you so much. You know, I mean, that's great. He's definitely not, he's, I'm definitely gonna be out of here by nine or 10 Saturday. Just move over there and it's paid for. So, however, things have changed, but not. Uh, as I wrote, as I've read in your comments from Bubba and others, that maybe we don't just wanna rush back down because everybody's gonna be rushing back down, especially when they hear uh, that maybe things are good where they live. Um, and, you know, but if power is not on or there's damages or, you know, there's a major, you know, flow of cars going down 75, we might as well, I mean, today's the day and two more days from today should be good maybe to go ahead and go home if electric's on and everything. We had, a, like I said, a neighbor a go in video for Miss Raffaella. Their place is perfect, perfect. Everything's perfect. Some twigs down in the parking lot. Uh, even the cars seem all, all fine there. So if I, where I live, isn't open, then we may delay, only because of me, another day and take advantage of Timmy's uh, generosity and stay one more day or two if we have to um, and return with no traffic. Just like when we left, we had no traffic because we really got ahead of it. We left Sunday morning at daylight. Um, we can just roll in and now that they know that no damage is there and they don't have the power is on, their refrigerator, the food's not spoiling, they can just continue to shelter in place with me until I can return to where I live. And when that happens, I'll be able to, uh, there's one of these guys that goes to work every day. He comes back about 10 at night. Um, so I don't think he's uh, just sh sheltering in place. He's one of these uh, workers that are out there helping people, I think, from uh, uh, Helene. And he's got a Tundra. That's pretty cool. So that's the latest update. So now what we're going to bring to you is we may get out and just uh, tool around a little bit, not worry about burning up our, our gas and see what core deals about. I definitely want to go visit this laundry mat instead of using the one we have here. I think it's only got one, maybe two machines. You guys know I love laundry mats because they have the large machines. You can do it all at once. They really ring out everything. They're high grade uh, machines that really spin everything out. I want to wash everything and just get the crasher back to where she needs to be. And um, we have gas, the loves, everything is good. And then tonight, this is what I was gonna say. I'll show you, I'll show you. I didn't want to come over here because of those wind out here and uh, the generator is kind of noisy, but look what I bought. <clears throat> I got some, they're not Duraflame logs, but they're the same thing. They're three hour uh, logs. And then I got a, a wood. So tonight I'll burn one of these and half of this wood. And then the next night we'll burn one of these and the other half of the wood just for a short time fire to enjoy. And I was gonna do it last night because it was plenty cold enough. Let me get back over here in the windbreak. But I didn't because I just didn't think uh, Miss Raffaella was really gonna be in the mood or could enjoy the fire. What a difference in her. What a difference in her today. She is so relieved. God's answered her prayers. And um, she had so many sentimental values of things. She, she just imagined the worst. And of course, everybody you know planned, um, hoped for the best and planned for the worst. And apparently everything where they live is just A-OK. -okay. And that's just really amazing where the storm came in directly over us. But I think God had a hand in it. And we just pray for everybody else. And it's really sad, very sad, that people all the way on the other side of the state of Florida that lost their lives in tornadoes because the outer band of these tornadoes, of these uh, hurricanes, sometimes produce the most destructive damage uh, versus the wind and the core of it. 
in some cases like yesterday where numerous tornadoes were spun up over in Port St. Lucie, north of Palm Beach County and Martin County and uh, or St. Lucie County, I should say, and even all the way down into Fort Lauderdale. And people lost their lives. I don't know how many yet they say may have lost their lives from the hurricane, but it's looking like possibly more lost their lives in these tornadoes than those that, um, you know, in the hurricane. So nothing's good about it except what you can find good about it, that you prepared for the best and you made out and that, you know, other folks did. Nobody wants to have to start over and lose everything, but people did. People have in North Carolina and we don't want to forget about them and we don't want to forget about anybody. So our hearts and prayers and uh, support will continue to go on uh, and then the things that will happen in the future. That's just what makes America great. Uh, so anyway, I think Miss Raphael will enjoy a fire tonight and the next night because we our rent is paid and uh, we're gonna wait at least till then to return because I need to wait to find out about my thing, like I said, and their stuff is already okay. Let everybody else get ahead of us and then we'll just go ahead and roll on down 75 back to Sarasota and get our lives going again and start crushing it. <laughs>